Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Row. I'm here to do our daily energy read for today, which is July 27th, 2020. All right, guys, first thing I heard tapping in was seeing red. Okay, today is a red day, all about the root chakra getting to the root of a matter. Then I heard one in three. As I sat with that, ones are about new beginnings. Threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm. So a new beginning in connection and communication with the angelic realm. Then I heard one out of every three, one third. And then the number 13, which some consider unlucky. I consider it lucky. I call it lucky number 13. 13 is all about drastic changes upheavals for karmic reasons. So you are breaking new ground, bringing in new opportunities to grow spiritually and adapt gracefully. These are switches or transitions that are blessings in disguise. These transitions bring you into perfect alignment with your divine life purpose if unsure of your next steps, you are to ask for angelic guidance. So, symbolism for red. Red flags, stop. Red also represents blood, sacrifice, danger, courage, heat, activity, passion, love, joy, sexuality, seduction, adventure, the past, which is super interesting. Luxury. Also, red stimu stimulates the adrenal gland. So, all about giving action and energy to a thing. And then I had, was brought back to a conversation I had with a friend of mine about religion versus spirituality. And she goes, well, Juan, I, I'm sorry. I just call on Jesus. And I don't know how to get away from religion. And I say, I call on Jesus too. I was indoctrinated as Christian and I understand that Jesus is an ascended master. So an ascended master is someone who came to this physical realm, realm and rocked it out. So much so that they left a legacy of a religion, somewhat a following here in the tangible. That's what an ascended master is. Someone who ascends to their highest self in, while they're in the physical body, okay? So it's not about getting away from uh, Jesus. Religion is a um, detailed way of praise, okay? It's a way of someone telling you a structured way of praising God. That's what I'm against. So no one can tell me how to praise God. This is something that comes innately for me, just like any other human being. So it's okay to still call on Jesus. It is religion, the formal religion that I buck against, not God, not Jesus. So I was told to explain that because if she was confused about it, then there must be other confusion about it. Then the last thing I heard, and saw in my mind's eye was the Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups is about um, new love, overflowing emotional experience, paramountly about growing self-love so it shows up in everything else that you see, sense, and feel. So this is everything that I got tapping in. Our message is going to be something along those lines, so let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a daily energy read for Fifth Element Row as a collective for today, July 27th, 2020. Using me as a channel, please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. So the overall energy is coming from mm, the Enchanted Map deck, which is new for Fifth Element Row. So one card as an overall read on today's energy, about one out of three, about getting to the root of the matter. And that's the red tail hawk. 
and about lucky number 13. One card, please. What's the overall read on today's energy? As a challenge, the one ring circus, okay? Coming out on nurtured feminine energy. Card number 15 breaks to a six. Sixes are all about journeying to harmony or harmony. But this is the one ring circus. So let's read the definition of this card. Card number 15. So the one reading circus, you are capable and competent as a challenge. So in the upright, I'll read upright and reverse because it comes out as a challenge in our reading. Upright, independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and manifesting clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are, you have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin. You're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. The reverse definition. If you think that the sun won't rise without you, then it's time to change. Perhaps you believe no one will be there to help you or you expect that you have to do all the work emotional or otherwise. This is a fear-based idea and only serves to alleviate, excuse me, to alienate you from others by taking away their right to participate. Receiving the One Ring Circus card may indicate the misuse of power. Give up, let go of the need to control how the wind blows and let others play their part. You don't need to be invincible, have all the answers or be the savior. Things will get done if you step out of your own way. Yet another meaning of this card suggests that someone else may be trying to control you. This needs to be addressed. Don't be afraid to set boundaries. This is a wonderful step to inter interdependence. Consider the example of two trees planted side by side, sharing the sunlight equally, neither overshadowing the other. So one ring circus as a challenge. So let's get our read from, we'll do the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Psychic Tarot Oracle is wrapped in yellow, all about the core. Tell the story for today, July 27, 2020. Give me the sunny side. Thank you. Thank you. Then we have all of this flipping over and I hear clearly central to the issue. So let's see what we have. Okay. So not walking away on feminine energy. Okay. Eight of cups in reverse. So emotional withdrawal in the upright. Walking away in love. Eights are about movement and abundance. This is a staying energy. But what does this staying do? Okay. Being nurtured. Someone refusing to walk away. Leads you out of awareness. So unable to manifest. Card number one. Ones are about new beginnings. This is magician energy. So using the tools of the ether and the earth to create the life of your dreams in the upright. But this is reversed. So out of awareness. Next. Needing to move from this self-imposed mental prison. Feeling like there's no way out. But the answer is really in front of you with the eight of swords. So double eight energy. Movement and abundance. 
trapped in fear in reverse. So coming out of this self-imposed mental prison. Why? Because there's deception and envy here. Card number seven. Sevens are about journeying to your higher self, your God self. This is seven of swords energy. In the traditional deck, it's all about yucky stuff. Crud behind someone's back, theft, subterfuge, sneaking away to visit another. But I get self-deception and envy zings from this card. So, someone is struggling with staying. But this thing keeps you out of awareness. Needing to move past the self-imposed mental prison. But self-deception and envy is here. At the base of this deck. Out in the cold financially. So there's a severing and I heard it clearly. So fives are about change and conflict. Five of Pentacles energy is about being out in the cold financially. So this is a card that I normally see when there is severing of ties or finances where there's commingling and there's someone leaves. But I feel this as a past energy, okay? So ties have been severed for quite some time, but emotionally having a hard time pulling away. But this inability to pull away emotionally leaves you in magician in reverse energy. So traditionally about manipulation when it's in reverse. And I think there was some sort of uh, hint to manipulation in the definition of this card. Okay. I need to grow through this. And there is a shift. When I see 13, there's going to be a shift. There's, it may seem unfortunate, but it's to get you into your soul mission. Okay. So uh, let's see what this deception and envy is about. Card number seven. And I'll go to traditional writer weight for it. Getting to the heart of the matter. So tell the story about deception and envy that leaves someone in manipulation, trapped in fear, and unable to walk away. So in a partnership and or alliance for two, there's interference. And I just heard stalemate again, which means that there is no physical communication. This is all energetic. Now, if there is, I was, um, I think it was on IG. One of our fifth element, so yeah, I meant to share this. One of our fifth element Tarot family members has this beautiful um, cord cutting um, mantra, and I'm going to share it if that's okay. So if you feel pulled to someone and this pull is one-sided, it's unrequited, and the person is not giving you the time of day, but you're still pining after this person, this is something that you need to energetically sever. And since you're struggling, there are ways to help you do that. Tell me about, thank you, having a hard time putting something to rest or rejuvenating or resuming something. Wanting to speak something strange but true. This keeps you all trapped and it's manipulative. It's exactly where it fell on magician in reverse energy. Just move on. It's time to move on. As I say that, we get this whole stack and then we'll get us a card of advice. So... Unable to make a choice. Told you this is self-deception and heavy envy. Petty arguments, competition, and fighting. So another card of competition. For wish fulfillment in a past nostalgic relationship. There is no competition in love. This is where you have your disconnect. This is all yummy. This is all yucky. Okay. You'll never get from this this. Okay, energy is going to attract like energy. You, from this energy that you'll have, you'll sit here. Okay. There has been a severing, not only a severing, a ending. It leaves you out of your fertility. Okay. Why? Because you won't walk away emotionally. Okay. Not having any spiritual strength. But there is recognition and reward but not into minds about something. You are to patiently plan. You're not rooted firmly. Come out of your shadow. 
get your balance until you do no fulfillment of wishes you must sacrifice when now quickly for your new beginning same story there is no way to change the akashic records this is someone who simply does not get it okay and it's fat energy we get it too much for it not to be let's get us a card of advice for navigating this energy yet again Card of advice is, I'm going to stick with the mystical shaman or, well, no, let's do this new deck. So we'll do the card of advice from the wisdom of the hidden realms. It's wrapped in blue. The truth. Card of advice for navigating the energy in this spread for today, July 27th, 2020. What's the part of advice for navigating this energy? One, please. One card. Thank you. Yes. Queen of the light in reverse. Someone just, it's not that you don't see. It's like you want a stiff arm. It, yeah, it, it doesn't work like that. And you keep yourself stuck. So I'll read this card. The Queen of the Light, Illumination, Enlightenment, and Celebration. Card number 15 breaks to a six. So 15, 15. We started with 15. We end with 15. This is in the challenge. This is in reverse, okay? So 15 breaks to a six. Sixes are all about harmony or the journey, too. We got the Queen of Light in reverse. So if you're not the Queen of Light, you're the Queen of what in reverse? the energy I have coming from this card. Let's see what the definition is. Card 15. <laughs> so the queen of the light as a challenger, which is how they call this card reversed in this deck. The queen of the light challenges you to shine your light and not give in to fear. So if it's challenging you to shine your light, you're not shining your light, okay? Are you hiding yourself for fear or rejection? Are you as afraid of success as you are of failing? The light of the divine shining within you is the power that expresses through you. This is not your ego. It's the authentic place of self-expression. The Queen of the Light also challenges you to look at how you're affected by glitter, glamour, and the superficial dreams of society. Are you mesmerized by false power? The material world is fleeting. Nothing lasts forever. Make sure your intentions come from deep within and don't base them just on money or power or what you think love will do for you. Ask instead what you can offer what you can give. True wealth resides within peace, harmony, and a sense of purpose. Remember that light isn't grayish or cold, nor is it manufactured. It's warm and brilliant and natural. Give up the attachment to the outer goal, and if it's meant to be yours, it will surely be, but it's not, and you know it, and that's why you sit here in obsession and in manipulation for yourself today. This is our message yet again, beautiful people. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Also, go follow on IG. I'm there seven days a week with the card of the day at Fifth Element Row 777. Until tomorrow, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.